Hey the YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and today I'm going to make something Hawaiian pulled pork also known as Kahlua pork and contrary to some beliefs there is no Kahlua the um, coffee liqueur in this recipe uh, so what I've got here is about almost a five pound uh, Boston butt pork roast bone in bone adds a lot of flavor to it and now I've, I've researched this a number of places and saw different variations on it so this is what I'm, I'm going to throw this together this is what I'm going to do so I've got my pork uh, Boston butt got some soy sauce I've got some coarse sea salt uh, this is actually the, a, a sea salt that I, I really like I use this a lot um, when I need, need a coarse sea salt this is Maine sea salt from a uh, company up in Maine and uh, I'll put a link uh, to the guy's website but I, I really like this because this is a small little independent um, operation the guy literally harvests sea salt from the, the ocean up there in Maine and he has another uh, uh, sea salt that he sells it that's really awesome and I don't have any because I've used it all is he smokes his sea salt he has a smoked version which is really good which would be really good for this uh, because what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cook this out on the, the grill and normally Kahlua pork is wrapped in banana leaves and, and the banana leaves give it a really gives it that that flavor um, I couldn't find any banana leaves today uh, a lot of times I can find them but I talked to the produce manager and he says that they usually only carry them in the fall because that's when a lot of people are making tamales and a lot of people like to make tamales with banana leaves so couldn't find them but some of the research that I saw says that you can use banana peels to get the same flavor. It's not going to look as pretty, you know, nice green folded up and everything. But it'll still have the same flavor and that's all I care about. So let me get this prepped and ready and then uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, let's get our, uh, I'm sure I want to do these bananas. So just cut one off like that. And just slit it down the side like that. Cut that end off, I don't really want that. So then we just gonna peel the take the peel off. I try to get it as whole as I can. See that banana? Make a smoothie or something. So I'm just gonna lay. Put that flat in there. A pork roast. Just gonna rinse this real quick. Get off any blood or bone meal or bone dust from the cut of bone. Don't worry about that excess water. That right on top like that. Actually, I think I'm just going to pat that dry a little bit. Paper towel. Yeah. Okay. Let's add some soy sauce. Now you could do this in your oven. Um, I've seen several people do do that as well. And what they did is they added about three tablespoons of liquid smoke because you want to get that smoky flavor. Okay, that's good. And then let's add a bunch of this co coarse coarse salt, coarse sea salt. This stuff is so good. Same along the sides. Just rub it on there real good. Okay, now I'm just gonna just gonna do another banana. And I'm going to 
just lay that right on top. Okay, that looks like that'll work to me. So then, I've got this in a aluminum foil pan and I'm just going to completely wrap this. Okay, my camera card got full so I don't know if I finished this. Anyway, I've got about 10 holes poked into the top of this and I'm just going to let this sit here and rest until I go get the charcoal ready and then I'll meet you out back. Okay, charcoal is ready. Chunks of mesquite wood. Okay. Put her down. It's pretty windy out here, so I'm gonna put my gooseneck on. Okay, I'll be back to check on it. Well, it's been seven hours. It's been maintaining a temperature of 300, 350, and 325. Sorry, I can't show it what it looks like yet. I'm going to take it inside and let it cool down so I can tear it apart, make uh, Hawaiian pulled pork or Kahlua pork. Gotta say, it smells good. So I'll meet you back inside. Okay, after seven hours on the smoker, let's take our pork. I've let it rest in, inside for a little bit so I can handle it. It's still pretty darn hot. Now what you want to do is transfer this to a new pan and you want to puncture the bottom because you want all that that uh, juice let all that juice out into another container because you're gonna shred this by hand and then add it back to the juice so let's get it all out and it looks really good it smells wonderful Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, let's shred this and put it back into the juice. Okay, now that we've drained our our pork, let's unwrap it and uh, remove those banana peels. Here's the top one. I'm going to try this again when they have the banana leaves in the store. It probably won't be for a few more months, but I'd like to try doing it completely wrapped in banana leaves like they do in Hawaii. But I think this, this method is pretty good. Remember, you got another banana peel on the bottom. Like I said, this smells awesome. So I'll try to move that over to a cutting board because it's just like falling apart this is going to be really really tender so you just want to shred it like 
like you would, you know, any any pulled pork. I got sidestepped there. It's okay, I'm back. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mm, it's so tender, juicy, great flavor. Mm. Can't wait to make some Hawaiian pulled pork sandwiches. So I'm just going to continue shredding this and then uh, add it to the uh, back to the pan with the juice. Taste that juice. That's really good. You could add some more soy sauce at this point if you wanted to. Okay, the pork is all shredded. I added it back into the liquid, so let's just thoroughly mix this. Really incorporate that the juice back in with the pork. Really give it some some more flavor. This is basically uh, what I, I'd seen several other recipes that I looked at. Kind of the, the same procedure, you know, you just want to capture all those juices and then reincorporate it and then mix it back in really well. I really like this technique. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to do this again. My son was watching me prepare this and he's like, I got to try it and he goes back a few more times he really liked it it was it was so tender and and had a lot of lot of flavor and of course adding that back in with the juice just makes it all that much better okay get out of here I think that, that's pretty well incorporated. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. Let's make some uh, Kahlua pulled pork sandwiches.